ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey, welcome to Eden Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Praise God. I am here to give you a word from the Lord. This word is coming out of Luke chapter 19. Hallelujah. Verse 10. Praise God. And in verse 10, we are learning why Jesus came in the first place. And he shares it so clearly to each and every one of us as we read Luke 19. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful today that this is day seven. Welcome to day seven. Praise God. I pray that you move through this day eating clean, praying, meditating on the word, drawing closer to the Lord because that's our purpose. Hallelujah. To consecrate, to stand on the word of God, to move in what he's calling us to move in. Praise God. But to also believe what he says. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, let's be obedient vessels to what the Lord is telling us this day. Now, praise God. Hallelujah. For anyone who is new to the channel, understand we love the Holy Spirit. We love God Almighty. We love Jesus Christ. But please know that we are servants of the Lord, that we, hallelujah, understand that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, that we, hallelujah, we magnify Jesus, that we glorify him, hallelujah, that we understand that what the Bible says is true, and we believe what the Bible teaches us. We believe what the Holy Spirit says. We are obedient vessels, and we do what God tells us to do. That's just it, because we understand that we're children of God. We understand that we're children of God. Hallelujah. We have to come just like the children that we know all around us, praise God. The lowly ones, praise God. The humble ones, because they have to depend on their parents in order, in order for them to survive, in order for them to live. They depend on their mom and their dad, praise God. Hallelujah. In order for them to grow for, for food, for clothing, etc. Hallelujah. They depend on their parents, praise God. And this is how we are to go unto the Father. We are to depend on him. Why? Because he has every Everything at his access, praise God. He is everything. Hallelujah. Anything that we can even think that we need, we know that he will satisfy that need because he is our provider. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful that God is our supply. I'm so grateful that Jesus Christ saved us. Hallelujah. With the blood, praise God, because he is the sacrificial one. I'm just so grateful today that we can come together on day seven and consecrate unto the Lord as we are doing right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let's just go ahead to Luke. 19 verse 10 and i'll read it for the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost praise god this is the purpose as to why jesus even came here in the first place is to what hallelujah seek and to save that which was lost each of us know that once we were lost praise god before we chose jesus hallelujah yes i said chose hallelujah before we decided that we're going to go ahead and move into things of God. But guess what? Hallelujah. We had to yield. We had to yield unto Jesus in order to move in what he's calling us to move in. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to be a vessel of the Lord moving in what he's calling us to move in. Praise God. Because God draws us. Hallelujah. Jesus calls us and the Holy Spirit does the work in us. Praise God. And I'm just so grateful that he does that. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful to be willing to even have a heart to be willing. Do you understand? Praise God. Because I'm not of my own right here in this time to be obedient to what God is calling me to do. Praise God. I'm not saying it's always easy. Hallelujah. But what I realize is that those who are not truly walking with God, who are not truly believing in God, hallelujah, I just can't latch myself on to that. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Because in these times, I have to get it. In these times, I have to go ahead and produce what God is telling me to produce. And if I'm latching on to unbelievers, if I'm latching on to lukewarm, if I'm latching on to those, hallelujah, who hear what God says, but then they say, nah, that can't be for me, praise God. Hallelujah. Do you understand? It is not a good work in the Lord. Hallelujah. I got to stay focused, praise God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so I'm telling you this, praise God, because the Lord is calling on you to stay focused. The Lord is calling on you to consecrate. The Lord is calling on you to choose him as number one, as the only one. The Lord is calling on you to look at him as the apple of your eye. Praise God. Hallelujah. That you can't do anything without him in the mighty name of Jesus. That he is top. Hallelujah. And he is the only choice that you could ever make in Jesus' mighty name. That is what we are leaning towards. Hallelujah. That is what we are presenting ourselves for in the mighty name of Jesus. We are consecrating, which means that we want to be as close as possible on this earth to Jesus Christ in spirit. 
That's it. Hallelujah. We want to be the disciples. We want to uh, speak the word of the Lord. We want to do the signs, miracles, and wonders with the fire power of the Holy Spirit. We want the deliverance power. Hallelujah. We want to move in the things of God. But in order to do that, we truly have to surrender unto the Lord. We truly have to move in the things of the Holy Spirit, allow the Holy Spirit to navigate this realm for us, praise God. Hallelujah. We have to be grateful for what the Lord is doing in our lives. And we also have to be obedient to his call, obedient to his movement, obedient, hallelujah, to the ones he's drawing in unto you in order for you to do a work to glorify him. It's all about the Lord, praise God. So and when we get that understanding and begin to move in the things that he's calling us to move in, hallelujah, putting ourselves aside, putting what we can do aside, but really leaning on God to do what he said he's going to do. We will be all right, y'all, praise God. Hallelujah, you know, we will be all right. Hallelujah. So verse 10 says that the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost, praise God. Hallelujah. You need to understand this. Because he came to do God's business, which was to seek and to save that which was lost. That, that is in reference to people. That's in reference to the world. That's lost. And as disciples, those of us who are moving in ministry, those of us who are moving in the things of God, whatever he, you know, from whichever direction you're coming from and whatever he's calling you to do, those of you who are being obedient to the call, hallelujah, understand that it's the process of Seeking and saving that which was lost. Many are lost in this time. We are at the top of the hour for so many things to happen in this world. And there are so many people who are lost and they're becoming even more lost. Hallelujah. There's so much darkness around and they need to see the light. They're waiting for the light. Hallelujah. Do you understand? And it's up to us to be the light bearers. It's up to us. Hallelujah. To, to allow the Lord, to allow the Holy Spirit to shine that light through us. They're the light, praise God. God Almighty is the light. Hallelujah. But to shine that light through us because when we choose Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we become one with the light. So then, too, we become light. Hallelujah. You cannot become light without Jesus Christ. Please understand that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the cross right now. The Lord is showing me the cross right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He just showed me the cross. And he showed me a man's face. Praise God. The outline of a man's face. Hallelujah. And he just showed me a spoon. And you may be wondering, okay, a cross, a spoon, it's because, praise God, that this person right here is saved by Jesus. But that spoon represents being fed. And that's what we are here for, to feed the people of God, to feed the sheep of Jesus Christ. We have to feed the flock, y'all. Hallelujah. That's a part of our journey. We have to feed the flock. Hallelujah. See, I make sure that I'm paying attention to what God is saying in time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Not waiting on it tomorrow in time. Praise God. And just as he spoke just then, hallelujah, in just a vision, just quickly, and just showing me items, praise God, there was this knowing and understanding through the Holy Spirit. There was this knowing of exactly what he was saying, praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord speaks to you in various ways, whether it's visions, dreams, hallelujah, whether it is him speaking to you audibly, internally, hallelujah, because the Lord speaks, praise God, and he is sharing so much in this time because so much is going on. Those of you who are thinking that God isn't speaking, praise God, because it seems like he's not speaking to you. He is speaking, hallelujah. He is speaking. You have to learn how God is speaking to you, praise God. It may not be how others are saying that they are hearing from God. Your journey with God and communicating with God may be different. This is why you need to consecrate. This is why you need to spend time with God alone. Hallelujah. He wants you in that secret place. Why? Because he's teaching you how to hear from him. He's teaching you how he speaks, praise God, to you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I pray that you receive it and believe it in Jesus' mighty name. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall be glad in it, praise God. This is the message, hallelujah, for Jesus himself came to seek and save that which was lost. And I pray that you pick up your cross and move into the kingdom of God to seek and save those who are lost in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we're going to give glory to be praised for this love of God. Turn up for 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 God.